everyone, I'm Kendall, and this is Starla, and we're going to drop some sick rhymes about the seven, um, <laughs> resources of technology. Technology is destroying the planet. Let's go. Now we're starting with people not talking about your beagle. People only consumers, men's customers, producers. People have a heart of technology. It's our needs and wants of very biology. Companies use people to design and create product, and they use it to validate earth-killing conduct. Advances in technology are made for people's needs. The majority only supports rich companies' greed. Let's move on to information. Information is the key to the nation. Information tells us what to do and how to do it. We have to make sure that everything is a perfect fit. You need that information to start your confirmation. Make sure there's no complication in your education. The misrepresentation of information causes wrongful taxation, monopolization, and commercialization, which leads to subordination. Anyway, anyway, information is the foundation of technological acceleration, and that is the key to urbanization. Misapplication of information has ramifications like discrimination, indoctrination, even assassination. It's an abomination. It's an abomination. It's an abomination. Look, you've on too much cereals. But even counter cereal. Cereal has sugar, preservatives, and pesticides. Worst ones are always those falsely televised. Products from materials have different properties that they are what we call commodities. Materials cause imperial monopolies with their valuable properties. Materials can be natural or man-made. Those are cut synthetic and changed through the decades. Synthetics like plastic don't break down, causing tectonic plates to be tossed around. Let's go to tools and machines. It's as easy as eating greens. Many machines rely on non-renewable resources, which are the source of many reasonable discourses. The reliance on fossil fuels is killing the ozone. Using them as behavior we cannot condone. They advance human capabilities, many possibilities, and are found in almost all facilities. But machines can be dangerous. The uses are outrageous and things like warfare. Marines use machines to build people into smithereens. Machines, machines let us do jobs job faster, faster and better. better. They, they can be used to make your sweater ten times more superior. It makes the whole process easier. They are also used to process information. Information that causes the inauguration of large corporations who specialize in manipulation. Let's go on to time. No money involved, not even a dime. Time is just a crime. It's wasted in so many ways. It leads us on until our eventual decay. You can make millions by using time, and no, not by committing a crime. Time is meaningless. It's just teasing us, making us facetious to the fact that we're all just going to die anyway. Hey, if you're going to act that way, just go away. That isn't even a rhyme. That's just using the same word twice with a different prefix. Whatever, most precise is the atomic clock. It even tells you how long to go for a walk. Lack of exercise in America has caused immense obesity, which isn't mere adversity. What does that have to do with anything? <clears throat> Time used to be measured with the sun. Now much more precise measurements have overcome. Time is an illusion, and the profusion of measurements can only lead to confusion. Now for energy, renewable energy, those that can be replaced. These include solar, wind, and gravitational. All of these are used for stuff that is sensational. But we don't only use energy that is replaced. The amount of non-renewables is a total disgrace. All systems require energy to function. Without it, everything would be a disjunction. When the sun, a plant's energy is received, the same we could probably achieve if we weren't so naive. Finally, we're down to capital. Capital is any form of wealth. And they say money makes the world go round, and having it is in good health. You're not being rational. When it comes to capital, the world is being underpaid, and that is a betrayed dead grace. A company needs capital to operate, and to get it, everyone needs to cooperate. Cooperate? Just great. Now there'll be a downfall in every state. You need capital to live a normal life, like to have a husband or a wife. Oh please, you're just using wealth to avoid the real problems in life. It pays your employees so you can ease and take life like an easy breeze. Many companies underpay their employees. Low minimum wage causes resentment and rage. Stock is sometimes used to raise capital. Any kind of money is compatible. When you buy stock, you own some of the company, so when you make money, they'll get along wondrously. Careful what you invest in, because if it goes downhill, your invested money will be killed. Companies use interest when they make a loan, which means you pay way more for your phone. What's wrong? No comeback? I mean, you aren't wrong.
But there must be something in that rhyme that you want to dispute, like how phones can't break down in the earth, or that they use rare earth elements, that shipping is way too expensive or something. You're learning. But no, let's just wrap this thing up. Now that's the end. I hope we started a new trend and given you some new information on the seven resources of technology. We wanted to inform you that we served our purpose and with knowledge of technology, you have a surplus. Technology has changed through the decades, but some things have always stayed the same. Information, energy, time, materials, and capital, especially people who have always been unflappable. <laughs> Come on, you have to drop the mic. That is unnecessarily wasting valuable money as well as equipment. Just do it and it'll make a cool exit. Fine. On the seven resources of resources of resources of resources of resources of